Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, a one month update on my six month beer challenge. Um, I tried to get a shape up today, but of course, all of the barbershops were jam packed. Everybody trying to get fresh for the new year, um, the party. I should have left and I should have went much, much earlier. But anyway, um, it's still growing in. I mean, it's gotten a little bit darker since um november the end of november but normally the areas that grow in uh first is like this area right here i already had a little bit of a goatee as you can see i i, I contemplated trimming it down to match the rest which i might still do i'm thinking about it i might trim down the goatee and have it match the length here but um, when I went to the barbershop, probably about two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I think it was, I told the barber um, to just line it up. And he ended up um, cutting it down some. And sometimes it gets on my nerves with the barber. Like you tell them don't, you tell them to do one specific thing, not to do so-and-so. And they, I don't know, take what's the word, creative license, and be start doing extra stuff. Not realizing, I know the reason why I told you, do it like this. Don't do extra. Don't do nothing I didn't tell you to do. I'm paying you my money. Please follow my instructions. So sometimes you have to make that come off um, anal and come off very strict with them. But I'm paying you my money. I know exactly what I want. And there's a reason why I'm telling you, do such and such, don't do such and such. So I really wanted him to just line, line up with a straight edge razor and keep under the neck clean. I like under my neck clean. I don't like a whole bunch of hair in here. So during the six months, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be keeping under the neck clean and I'll just be lining up the beard. Y'all see the mark, you know, the lines right here. I don't really have a mustache, but kind of growing in and you know that's it so i'm not going to be cutting off the beard if anything they may try to maybe trim some of the hairs that's sticking out that's fine as long as you don't cut down my beard you understand what i'm saying so next time i go there they're dominican so i'm like yo poppy listen 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 to me poppy listen and listen, listen poppy just line me up like this that's it don't cut it don't trim it down don't flatten it just take this line it up poppy just line up. That's it. That's all I want you to do. Um, but after um, probably about th two to three months, this will get much thicker. Um, I was telling a friend of mine, oh, I have weak spots in my beard. He said, no, don't, don't. He's a, he, I would call him a, um, a wordsmith, a stickler for words. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a stickler for words too. The reason why he said that is like, don't say you have a weak spot. He was saying, that's your beard. That's how your beard grows. So for those of us who have locks, dreadlocks, or however you wish to um, term it, um, there's a thing you got to watch out, watch out for. It's called lock envy. And basically that is when you see someone else's locks and you're like, oh, I want my locks to come out just like that. It's so pretty and beautiful. You got to stay away from that because your locks is your locks. Depending on your hair texture, um, um, the parts you put in your locks is so many factors, but at the end of the day, you never really know how your locks are going to turn out when they fully mature. So based along those lines of thinking, you can't, it's good to admire, but don't envy and think that your set of locks is going to look like somebody else's. That's somebody else's set of locks. Your locks is your locks. As long as you it's healthy and you're taking care of it and you're putting healthy things in, water, fresh fruits, fresh veggies, you know, good food, healthy food, nothing processed or anything, and you're not stressing, then um you're you should have a healthy set of hair. So the same thing with the beard. Don't get beard envy. Your beard is your beard. I have one guy, one coworker, he grows a full beard and he's about 23, 24, somewhere around there. He has a full beard. 
I mean, full black is just beautiful. He just keeps cutting it. I don't get why he keep on doing that. He keeps on cutting it or whatever. So I'm like, dude, Negro, leave your, your beard is fire, bro. Leave it. It fits you perfectly. So, but that's him. But he grows a full beard. I have another guy who's um, 19 on the job. Same thing. He got a thick beard. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's all about genetics. Everybody is different. Um, So for me, I just have, you know, that little open space right there. That's my beard. But maybe possibly I haven't allowed it to grow enough. Because sometimes um, we don't wait long enough to even see where it can go. So that's why I'm doing the six months because I think six months is definitely long enough to find out, all right, this is where it's going to go, this is where it's going to go. Because, um, again, I feel in my spirit that, for me, I should have a beard. So that's me. So I'm going to grow my beard. But I, I I think I might trim this down just to even it up. I think I might. But my, my goatee, obviously, as you can see, I have no problem growing one. So that'll be the first part of my face to grow anyway. So it's probably going to end up, even if I was to cut it, it's probably going to end up um, being longest anyway. So this is my update. Um, if I get a shape up tomorrow, I'll just probably come back. No, I don't have to show you how to shape up. You can just see what I'm looking at. If I get a shape up tomorrow, um, I probably, I might come back and do a follow up video and just show y'all that way I can see it. Cause that, you know, they'll be able to brush it in. Cause my beard is not brushed right now. So that's why it kind of looks Almost similar like it was last time. But he, my, but my friend was like, yeah, that's your beard. He said the same thing. I have, you know, so-called patches or whatever. But that's just my beard. You know, the spirit was like, that's your beard. Leave it alone. Accept it for what it is. So this is my one-month beard update. I started no, the end of November. It is the end of December. Happy New Year, guys. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. Bless your families with health, happiness, harmony, love, prosperity, plenty, and peace. More shalom. More fire more restoration may god take you to another level in him take you to another place in his spirit take you to another dimension in his spirit oh man this is gonna be an amazing year i prophesy it it's gonna be an amazing year for everybody it's gonna be an amazing year of sight revelation understanding knowledge glory power all right let me show you what i'm rocking before i go Rose quartz, even though it looks really pale. But you know, y'all know rose quartz is like a pale pink. All right. I got my clear quartz pendant at the bottom right there. Extremely clear. You can see my finger going through it. Extremely clear piece of clear quartz. All right. Matching clear uh, rose quartz bracelet. And I put some lapis in there. And some clear quartz. Uh, clear quartz. All right. Good energy. Lapis is good for mental strength, uh, compassion, speaking your truth, and self-realization. So if you're having identity problems, you know, speaking your truth and allowing the king to rise up in you, get yourself some lapis. And I got some rainbow obsidian. Y'all might not be able to see the rainbow in there. Maybe you can. Rainbow sheen. Yeah, yeah, see that? Rainbow Sheen Obsidian. Rainbow Obsidian is a good stone for um, soaking up any negativity that's around you. And then it changes it, transmutes it into positive creation, good positive energy. So put another way that you can understand it turns your curses into blessings. Did you catch that? So anything that's coming towards you negative from the outside and even maybe from within... It transmutes it, changes it, transforms it into positive expression, positive good, positive energy and creation. Please watch my, my video. The crystal's on sale. I have crystal sets on sale. Um, necklace and bracelet sets for $10. So take me up on that offer. God bless everyone. Shalom.